Bangladesh is a country in Southeast Asia. It is surrounded by India on all sides, except for a small border with Burma in the southeast, and the Bay of Bengal is to the south. The borders of present-day Bangladesh were established in 1971, and it became a country in its own right. Most of the south of the country is flat and crisscrossed with large river systems, making it susceptible to flooding and the effects of rises in the sea level. Approximately one-fifth of the country consists of low-lying coastal zones within one metre of the high water mark. There are suggestions that about 17% of land in southern Bangladesh will be submerged by 2020. The impact of climate change, combined with the breakdown of traditional family structures and ailing support networks, has hit the elderly very hard. In our district, approximately 20 to 25 villages have been destroyed due to the erosion of the river Padma. We have no idea where many of our relatives have relocated, some in Dhaka, possibly some in Narayanganj, others in Chittagong, others in Ghazipur. Previously, the river Padma was about two to three kilometers away from the mainland. Now the river bank is just outside our doorstep. All our land has been claimed by the river and we have nothing left. In a recent survey, it was discovered that hundreds of displaced people from the low-lying southern districts of Bangladesh have migrated to the higher northern parts of the country towards the Himalayas because of the effects on the environment that climate change is bringing. This is having an effect on Dhaka. Dhaka currently has a population of around 13 million people living within its metropolitan area and is set to become the fifth largest city in the world by 2030. Over 40% of the people living in the city are poor, living in slums and fringe areas and are extremely vulnerable to adverse climate conditions. My name is Khalek Mia. My hometown is in Kumilla. My house was next to the river Padma and it fell prey to the river. I couldn't afford to rebuild my home and I was forced to stay with others and eventually I was forced to move to Dhaka. I pull a rickshaw now for a living. Since I'm 70 years of age, it is hard for me to find customers. But if I don't work, then I can't afford to feed my family. I earn 80 pence to a pound daily. I'm 70. It's hard for me. Sometimes I have to starve myself so that I can pay the rent to the owner of the rickshaw. Even at my old age, I work 12 hours a day only because I need to feed my family. The Dhaka city area is not expanding as a consequence of the increase in people coming to live there and civic communities and support services are inadequate to deal with their needs. The Sir William Beveridge Foundation is a UK-based international charity that was established in 2006. It has an office in Dhaka and has been operating a free home care service in the city and surrounding areas for nearly two years. A team of beverage carers visit vulnerable elderly people in need in their own homes to provide for their personal care needs. There are currently 160 elderly people receiving such care. The novelty of this service has caught the imagination of the people here in Bangladesh and the demand for service is increasing every day that perhaps is becoming a little difficult for us to meet. Nonetheless, we plan to cover Dhaka city in about two to three years time and later we plan to expand it to the other cities in Bangladesh. The Beverage Foundation is aiming to expand this work even further by establishing its first care home to the north of Dhaka that will provide a home for up to 120 elderly people displaced by climate catastrophes. And the Foundation has also acquired more land in Sillet for a second care home. This is where the Foundation needs your help. As chair of the Sir William uh, Beverage Foundation, I recently visited one of our projects in Bangladesh and laid the first stone of a care home that we're constructing there. What we're working to do in Bangladesh 
is to provide a, a care home for displaced people who require special attention and that can only be provided in a home where there's specialist staff and nurses, care assistants that can provide all-round care. Familiar uh, to us perhaps in other countries but less familiar in Bangladesh. We provided in a dementia clinic within the home that we have already acquired the land for the building of the care home. As you can see, this is an ambitious program in Bangladesh and we will need some financial assistance. Please help us to help them live their full lives with dignity.